Hello friends, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to work with fractions. We're going to take a look at how to add fractions, subtract them, multiply them, and divide them, so that you have all these rules in one video. Let's start with the addition of fractions. We are only allowed to add fractions if the denominators are the same. This is not yet the case here in this example, so then our first step is to find a common denominator, so to make the denominators the same. So we're looking for a number that is divisible by 7 and by 3. You always find such a number if you just multiply these two numbers, so 7 times 3 equals 21 and that is a possible common denominator then because the 21 is divisible by 7 and it's divisible by 3. Okay, so we changed the denominators but we're not allowed to just change our fraction. We have to do exactly the same then in the numerator. So what did we do with our first fraction? How did we get from the 7 to the 21? We multiplied the 7 by 3, right? So we have to do the same with the numerator. We have to multiply this number by 3 then as well. 4 times 3 gives us 12. Okay, first fraction done. Second fraction, the same thing. We changed the denominator by multiplying the 3 by 7 so that we get the 21. And we have to do the same with the numerator, so we also have to multiply it by 7. 1 times 7 gives us 7. So that we renamed our fractions now. And now we are allowed to add these fractions because the denominators now are the same. Okay, how do we do this then? We take the common denominator, the 21 here, as our denominator, and then we just add the numerators. So 12 plus 7 is what is written here in our new numerator. And now we only have to calculate this. 12 plus 7 equals 19 and the 21 in the denominator. And this is our result, although always check at the end if you can reduce this fraction any further. So take a look at your numbers, the 19 and the 21, and check whether they have common divisors. But with these numbers, that's not the case, so we are really done. This is the result of this addition here, and we can take a look at the subtraction. This is very similar to the first case. So we first take a look at the denominators and if they are not yet identical we have to find a common denominator first. So we're looking for a number that is divisible by 9 and divisible by 3 and as we've seen in the first example you can always find a common denominator by just multiplying these two. So you could do 9 times 3 which gives us 27 and this would be a common denominator or if you take a look at your numbers, maybe we find a smaller common denominator than the numbers are not getting so large, which, which is an advantage. So if you see the 9 and the 3 and you look for a number that is divisible by 9 and by 3, then you have the 9 already. Because the 3 is a divisor of the 9, then the 9 is automatically divisible by itself and by the 3, so we can take the 9 as a common uh, denominator here. With this, we don't have to change the first fraction at all, so we just take the 2 from the numerator because we didn't change the denominator. And here we have to rename this fraction because we changed the denominator. We multiplied the 3 by 3, so we have to do the same in the numerator, also multiply it by 3, so that we get 1 times 3 equals 3. And now the denominators are the same and we are allowed to subtract these two fractions by taking the denominator and subtracting the numerators. So this time we have a 2 and we subtract the 3 here. 
And now we only have to calculate this. 2 minus 3 equals negative 1 and the 9 in the denominator. Check if you can reduce this fraction any further, which is not possible this time as well because the 1 and the 9 don't have common divisors. And the minus here, you can leave it in the numerator if you want to, but you could also write it in front of the fraction if you want to, or you could write it here in the denominator, whatever um, works best for you. I prefer to have it in front of the fraction so that I immediately see that this fraction is negative. Okay, then let's take a look at how to multiply fractions. This is the easiest case because to find the result you just have to multiply the numerators. So 5 times 2 gives us our new numerator and the same with the denominators. 8 times 3 gives us our new denominator. And now we only have to calculate this. But as a tip, before you start with the multiplication, first take a look at your numbers and check whether you can reduce something here. So the 2 and the 8, for example, are both divisible by 2. 8 over 2 equals 4 and 2 over 2 equals 1. The other numbers don't work like this, so this was the only thing we could do, but it's better than nothing. And now the numbers are smaller than, so 5 times 1 equals 5, and 4 times 3 equals 12. And like this, your result is already reduced. We cannot reduce this fraction any further because we checked everything here already. And then how can we divide fractions? You just take your first fraction here, the 7 over 2, don't change anything with this fraction, and instead of dividing by this fraction, we now multiply, and now we switch these two numbers. We take the 21 and write it on top, and we take the 20 and write it in the denominator. This is the reciprocal of this fraction here. So you always find the reciprocal of a fraction by switching the numbers. And yeah, so instead of dividing by this fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. And we now know how to multiply two fractions. we just seen it. We multiply the numerators. So we have 6 times 21. And then the same with the denominators, 7 times 20. And before we multiply here, we check if we can reduce something. And the 21 and the 7, for example, are both divisible by 7. So 21 over 7 equals 3, and 7 over 7 equals 1. And the same with the 6 and the 20, they are both divisible by 2. 6 over 2 equals 3, 20 over 2 equals 10, then nothing else works here. So now we multiply. 3 times 3 equals 9, and 1 times 10 equals 10, and this is our result. I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Please like this video, and we see each other in one of my next videos. Take care!